Sacred geometry and, and the, the processional numerology that's encoded. I mean, this is Hamlet's Mill. What's what's in the book, Hamlet's Mill, that, that essentially shows you that this, a lot of the sacred geometry, which is, a, it's, it's like a numeral system or these sacred numbers that are repeated through geometry, time, distance, even cosmic cycles as we measure them. And then they appear again and again through ancient cultures and in their origin stories and even in their architecture i mean the you know the great pyramids probably the the best example of it being the i mean i'm sure you've heard that it's it's like a scale model of the northern hemisphere at a at a ratio of 43,200 to 1 it's absolutely insane and it's it, it's it encodes so much more knowledge when you when you consider it from that perspective knowledge that we can't explain through the dynastic Egyptians or by any capabilities that they had. It encodes geodetic data it, in terms of the, the very specific shape of the earth, the perimeter length of the Great Pyramid, and you multiply that by 43,200, you get the equatorial circumference of the earth.